So there was a car company, not our car company, that ran a commercial featuring an actor who dissed the leisurely lifestyle of other countries while painting a greedy picture of the American dream that can be summed up as, we work hard so we can buy stuff. Meanwhile, controversy in overdrive, the new Cadillac ad is revving up the critics. Take a look. Why do we work so hard? For what? For this? For stuff? Other countries, they work, they stroll home, they stop by the cafe, they take August off. Off. Their spot got reactions, lots of them. Headlines and posts everywhere, positive and negative. Not just from the press, but from people who share the values we profess as a company. Values that convey a more optimistic view of the American work ethic. We decided to talk to those people by delivering a counterpoint to our competitor's message, asking Passion Murray, an environmentalist we know who genuinely lives those values, to give voice to the notion of working hard, not just for stuff, but to make a better world. Then we took on the competitor's commercial, value by value, shot by shot. Why do I work so hard? For what? For this? For dirt? Other countries, they work, they stroll to the market and buy locally grown food locally. Why aren't we like that? Well, more and more of us are like that because we're crazy entrepreneurs trying to make the world better. Some people might think we're nuts. Whatever. Me? I collect food scraps from restaurants, manure from zoos. Manure. Do you know why? To keep this stuff out of landfills and use it to make good, rich dirt. That's why. Yeah, look, it's pretty simple. You work hard, you believe that anything is possible, and you try to make the world better. You try. As for helping the city grow good, green, healthy vegetables, that's the upside of giving a damn. N'est-ce pas? We got reactions too. Lots of them. Lots and lots of them. Headlines and posts everywhere. Mostly positive. We got a lot of people to look at us with new eyes saying, hey, Ford, we're impressed. You have gone further. You do go further. And not only that, the spot put Miss Murray into the global spotlight. Her website, DetroitDirt.org, crashed and crashed again as people became curious about her work. And like the good organic compost she makes, it gave her a rich field to grow her vision and expand her mission as she received invitations to speak at Harvard and Yale and TEDx and TED Youth. And MIT invited her to be a fellow, so 